Out of all of the transformations in Dragon Ball, and believe me, there are plenty to pick from, I'd probably say that Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan 4 are the coolest. Super Saiyan 4 is easily the best looking design wise in my opinion, and Super Saiyan God is just so clean looking as well, but out of all of the transformations, awakenings, and techniques in the entire multiverse, there's one that kinda stands out to me above the others for a lot of different reasons. Fan made or not, the Super Saiyan 5 transformation is one of the coolest, over the top looking designs in my opinion from the long white spiky hair. I love everything about the form but there are in fact a few different designs to the Super Saiyan 5 transformation and even though this is one of the strongest forms I've seen canon or not, there are some drawbacks to it but to be honest it's nothing that we haven't seen the Z fighters overcome before so I think this form or something along the lines of this form could possibly be incorporated into the future. I got swords on my back, on my back. Samurai my ride back. Ninjas with me niggas yeah. Going far cause these bitches oh, yeah. Eating ramen noodles in the hood with my niggas Believe it, I'll leave some shit the first instance of Super Saiyan 5 a lot of us saw was in Dragon Ball AF, and in Toy Bull's Dragon Ball AF, Zykor, the third mysterious son of Goku, comes to Earth with the desire to rule in his father's absence. While it was never necessarily stated, to my knowledge at least, Zykor, while he may have possessed the powers similar to Super Saiyan 5 and similar physical traits as well such as the hair and the eyes, it was never outright said that he was in a Super Saiyan 5 form. But being so much stronger than Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta like we saw in the manga, I find it hard to believe that Zykor hasn't mastered some form of Saiyan Ascension, even though he never even demonstrated one transformation in the entire manga. Super Saiyan 5 is said to be the strongest of all of the Super Saiyan forms in the fan manga verse and the successor to the prior Super Saiyan 4 transformation. Basically the only requirements are obviously being a Saiyan and presumably one would have to have achieved the prior form as well but in young Gigi's Dragon Ball AF, the secret to this form laid solely in your emotions. When Gohan and Vegeta were training with the Elder Kai in order to fight the Shadow Dragons, a technique was used on both of them in order to bring the depths of their emotions to their forefront, and only with complete mastery over all emotions could one achieve the Super Saiyan 5 transformation. However, in Toy Bull's Dragon Ball AF, Goku was shown to have obtained the form after training with Shenron in Otherworld by becoming a Great Grey Ape, which I guess is a step beyond Golden Great Ape in achieving this form. Being twice as powerful as Super Saiyan 3, in this form most of the traits of Super Saiyan 4 get exaggerated and the hair as well as the eyelids turn grey. Supposedly multiplying the user's base power by 800, the main issue that comes along with the strength of this form is that it can't be maintained for long as the strain on the mind and body is ridiculous. In Dragon Ball Super Broly we actually get to see a concentrated form of the Saiyan Great Ape which reminded me of Super Saiyan 4 and 5, and while I know it's a complete stretch to say that these forms can become canon one day, it isn't impossible now, especially since I think Super Saiyan 4 would rest somewhere between Super Saiyan 3 and Blue. So another Super Saiyan Ascension might not be too far-fetched now. One way I think these forms could be incorporated into the main timeline is by Broly which of course is the most obvious way since he already has prior experience with the concentrated power of the Great Ape, but the only thing is from what we saw in the movie, he hasn't yet gained complete mastery over the power he already has so another ascension might be a little far off for Broly. The next obvious incorporation would be Goku or Vegeta and Personally, since Goku still has work to do in order to possibly someday unlock Ultra Instinct again, I feel like Vegeta could potentially tap into yet another form and even though his strength has broken into the god realm, the true power of the Saiyans could have yet to be discovered in Dragon Ball Super for all we know. That's gonna do it for this video guys, I really hope you all enjoyed it as always. Definitely let me know down below in the comments what you think about Super Saiyan 5 and how you think it could be incorporated into Super when it comes back, if you think it can be. 
Now, I know where Goku and Vegeta are right now strength-wise, they probably don't really need a form like this in the first place, but it could be a plot for somebody else. I mean, it'd even be cool if this was like another form that maybe like Goten and Trunks could only reach once fused again, like Super Saiyan 3 or something like that. That'd be pretty dope, but let me know your own ideas down below. You can even tweet them to me if you want to, but anyways, have a great, great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.